basically these ideas are very simple and that is that business is a technique is a body of knowledge if you will that can be learned by other people and that further it can be taught by successful business people. You don't need a degree in, in uh, uh, teaching in order to be able to teach business. But you can teach practical down-to-earth business solutions right on the job, right at the man's place of business. And that's really what we're all about. We're a consulting organization. In other words, you will help black people that are already in businesses or minorities who are already in business. But you want, you're not trying to get new ones into our doors are world. open to everybody who is in business or wants to get in business. Uh, our organization is not yet in being in the sense of having an office and a staff uh, in Dallas so that we're not ready to receive anyone yet. But when we are, and when that's announced, the idea will be for those who desire a business career of business ownership or who are in business and who think they need help in one way or another to come to meet the interviewer, to discuss their problems, and to be assigned an individual consultant. We hope to initiate in Dallas, uh, Dr. Conrad and myself are particularly interested in this, a program whereby children in the junior high and the high school would be exposed to minority group physicians, be brought to the campus to see operations, and uh, in other ways uh, be stimulated to consider a career in medicine, and that they would then begin to prepare for their college work and uh, uh, hopefully be attracted to this, uh, what I think is a very exciting profession. Certainly. So by this program, you hope to accomplish, uh, in other words, to eliminate the shortage, motivate uh, minority youngsters in this area at an, at an early age. Yes. When we can, we, we can only take about one out of every 12 applicants to our medical school, you can only take well-prepared uh, students because uh, we don't want to turn out physicians who are not well-prepared. And what we hope is that by stimulating them to study early in life and to prepare hard in college, that we'll have, instead of uh, 13 applications, 100 applications or 200 applications. All, we, all we're doing is trying to uh, run down to the students uh, some of the things that are wrong with this institution uh, and, and let them see, see for themselves the things that are going on, you see. Because, uh, well, here lately there hasn't been much communication, and we think the students need to know about the things that are going on. What sort of support do you have from the student body as a whole? Uh, I think we have uh, the majority of the black, well, I'm sure we have the majority of the black students. and. Uh, I couldn't say exactly what percentage is white students, but quite a few of them. Uh, where ethnic problems are involved, they felt I was not getting a total picture. And I probably agree with this, and I intend to set up an ethnic advisory council. The other specific item for future action was that they requested that in this communication uh, problem, which is always not hearing all segments in this case, I said I would be happy to talk with the group that they feel is not being represented, primarily themselves. And I agreed to do this by going down into uh, one of the lounge areas and rapping with these students on uh, some kind of a recurring basis, once every two weeks or something like this. Offices for the District Corps of Engineers located here in Fort Worth are in the Fritz D. Lanham Federal Building. Soon, the office space may have to be expanded. A major personnel increase for the Fort Worth District Corps of Engineers office appears now to be almost certain. As reported on Channel 8 News last week, it now appears almost a certain fact that 220 to 230 civilian employees of the Albuquerque Corps of Engineers office may soon be transferred to Fort Worth. The Albuquerque, New Mexico District Office is currently in charge of construction at several Texas military bases, 
including Abilene, Big Spring, El Paso, and Wichita Falls. The Corps of Engineers transfers are expected to come in a major Defense Department announcement March the 12th. However, Channel 8's Washington informants told us today by telephone that the announcement may come as early as this Friday. The Defense Department bombshell is reported to contain the largest package of military base closings in the history of America. Channel 8 News has learned also that the announcement may contain one or more Texas Air Force bases. From Fort Worth at the Federal Building, this is Art Sinclair reporting for Channel 8 News. They may try, but I don't think they'll ever get the real thing because it's about 20% protein and it's very nutritious. And therefore, I don't think they can substitute it.
had trouble getting into business because he doesn't have any risk capital. He goes to the bank with a plan, but the bankers refuse. because he has no collateral. What can you do for this person? Well, this is the uh, the individual. 